ECHOES is now an annual literary event here in Dawkey Castle, celebrating the work of Irish writers, with Maeve Binchy at its core. This year we're looking at questions of gender and feminism. Maeve was once described as a quiet feminist, and she was absolutely thrilled with that description, because she said herself she had never, ever been accused of being quiet. And with the writers who followed in Maeve's footsteps, we're asking if gender stereotyping still exists in fiction today. Another highlight we'll be hearing her award-winning television play, Deeply Regretted By. And we will finish with how her work mirrored and influenced social change in Ireland. We're delighted to have such talented writers and broadcasters with us to discuss these topics today. And of course, we're particularly pleased to have the Binchy family and Maeve's husband, Gordon Snell, on this really special occasion, ECHOES 2018. It's a very moving event for me because uh, having been married to Maeve for 35 years, I was um, always terribly appreciative of her work and proud of her. She loved writing and she loved uh, uh, performing her work and she loved um, just uh, creating characters and stories all the time. Maeve pioneered writing realistic fiction about Irish lives and that enabled obviously the women who went on to write in the same vein as she was writing, but also I think the wave of Irish crime fiction that's been going for 10 or 15 years, when publishers said Irish people would be, and international audiences would be interested in realistic fiction about Ireland. She was brave and a forerunner for us, and um, we followed in her wake very proudly. I think one of my greatest regrets, in fact, in terms of broadcasting, is that I never got a chance to interview Maeve Binchy because I know the amount of research I would have had to do was practically none. It would have involved saying something like, so Maeve you were sitting in the kitchen and then what happened? One of the most inspiring aspects of Maeve Binchy is her sense of her own strength and her courage to take her own road and to succeed at a time perhaps when women writers weren't achieving the recognition that they deserved. Until then, I, I guess we were used to very literary writers and that was the tradition that we had. And then suddenly we had this warm, funny storyteller. Um, so her, the reaction to, to, to Maeve would have been different to the reaction perhaps that we would have had to other writers in the past. We were beginning to think about a different kind of history that we had official archives that told us what happened. They didn't necessarily tell us what it felt like. Maeve's work was very powerful in communicating what it felt like. She just became part of the fabric of how we began to think about ourselves and of how that change of how women in Ireland began to think about ourselves and also how society uh, changed the way in which it thought of us too. The legacy Maeve Benchy has bestowed on Irish writers is the knowledge that we can do anything, go anywhere, and that if you choose it, you can be successful as much as you care to be and that you can be as successful outside of Ireland as you can in Ireland. She opened gates, she opened doors. To be Maeve-esque for me means to find the hysterically funny in the ordinary. Well Echoes is a wonderful festival and it rightly celebrates Dorky's patron saint who is of course Maeve Binchy. I'm a long time resident of, of Dorky and um, she, her spirit echoes around the streets and around this place so it's just brilliant to have this day where we can all concentrate on that and celebrate her legacy. What comes across when I think when you look at both Maeve's journalism and then when I think of the advice that she would have given on a personal level it's about living the kind of life that you want to live being good to other people and keeping things as simple as possible for yourself not punishing yourself that comes up over and over again in her work. 